Welcome very much. We're at the Survival Radio Network live remote at Westwood College. I believe that is the name of it. Rich Boys uh, Business Workshop. And I am here with Miss Tamika McLester with Colonial Life Insurance. Colonial Life. I've seen that card somewhere. Okay, excellent. You guys are out in full fledged today. We are. We actually brought out a team of four to talk about a number of different areas in insurance from uh, how ACA is in impacting small businesses and how we're also hiring in addition to uh, we're pulling in uh, clients to talk about their supplemental benefits as well. Well, this is a very interesting um, business one-on-one, I, I would call it, workshop it from the ground building up. What are your thoughts about it so far? We're at the midway point. Um, I've actually gained a lot of information from Ryan. He's been, uh, I've been a client of his for almost 14 years oh, now. Wow. So we go back a couple yeah, of years, but absolutely. I've always admired his business acumen, and yeah. I, I see why today. And he makes things so plain, well, yeah. so simple, and it, anyone can do this. Almost dummy proof. Very much so dummy proof. Well, one of the things I like about Brian's perspective is it's very organic. You know that Brian actually went through it, and he's not reading from a book or this is what I studied in college. It's really His real experience. life experience, that's right? Right. And, right. and oftentimes, and, and when you're talking about becoming an entrepreneur, that's missed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is there any takeaways that you have so far that you can share with our listening audience? Just anything that comes off. What your stuck mind. to me was people who all creating the hater at atmosphere. I know they're there. Those closest to me will be the ones who will doubt Probably. and who will spread the, the negative seeds. But if I stay the course, uh, the success will speak for itself. Well, and I'm sure you will. I will. All right. Thank you so very Thank much you for so much. being our guinea pig. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Yes, yes, and I welcome am. Welcome aboard. This is Survival Radio Network, uh, live remote here at the Westwood College. Uh, you two are out here in mass form with Colonial Life. Tell us a little bit about why you guys are out here and what do you do? Well, basically, the reason we came out was uh, we believe in supporting small businesses. That's our um, core, core client base. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also do large corporations. Uh, we do the state of Georgia prison system. Uh, but one of the things that a lot of employees don't realize is that um, without offering their employees benefits, they're putting their, their um, employees at risk. Sure. Uh, so we do things like disability insurance, you know, the types of insurance plans that will help uh, create financial stability, you know, um, for um, the average American household. You know, uh, most people don't realize that most of the bankruptcies in this country are not because somebody lost their job. It's because somebody got sick. The, the uh, medical bankruptcies are the worst thing you can't recover from. Sure. You know, um, if there's a financial uh, situation, you lose your job, you can go out and go work at Walmart or get some money get or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but, you know, if you're at home battling cancer or mm. some type of injury, the last thing you're going to be able to do is go to, uh, uh, is going to be able to do anything um, to generate income. So that's what our company does. We protect your patrons. So why do you think most small businesses do not? have the proper insurance coverage for their employees? Uh, lack of knowledge because yeah. most of our plans um, are they, employee they paid. They, do, do they think it's just too much? I just can't afford it. I'm only six six employees strong. Right. Correct. And, yeah. Right. And the, the thing that we try to educate um, employers um, about is that all of our plans are employee paid. You can set up oh, a wow. benefit bank, yeah. So it, there's no direct cost to the employer at all. You know what? How many people don't know that? Right. Most. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, know. you, you just taught me something. Right, I didn't yeah. know. I did not know they were employee paid because yeah. the one assumption is, well, this has got to come out of my uh, overhead or it's, it's got to be part of my dynamic of profit. And, right. and I, I'm only at 5% profit margin. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, man, thank you so much for sharing that. Tell us one takeaway that you've gotten yourself uh, from what Brian has been talking about this morning. Oh, well, basically some of the same things that I've, um, I've been in business uh, since 2001. Wow. Um, nice. Congratulations. So, so thank you. Um, some of the same things as far as, you know, um, making sure that you're surrounding yourself with the right people. Mm -hmm. uh, because whenever you start a business, the one thing that I've learned, and like you said, you're going to continue to have challenges. Sure. I just went through a major one in December. Um, <laughs> they don't stop, right? Right. No, they don't stop. You know, they just keep going, you right. know. But whenever you're progressing in life, whether personally or in business, you're always going to go through something. Wow. You know, and that's just, you know, as you're going through different levels, you're, we all know the old adage. We do. The more money you make, 
mm-hmm. more problems. Yeah, more it's the problems. truth. Yeah. You know, um, but at the end of the day, like, I wouldn't trade being um, an entrepreneur for anything in the world because I love what I do. You know, um, and plus, I've got several of my team members here. Tamika's one of them. Um, I actually went to high school with, 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 with Tamika. Really? Right. Uh, wow, that almost never happens. Right. Then you wind up working, you know. Right. You yeah. know, I, I, you know, hiring her because I just believe that um, as a community, the one thing that we need to do is truly embrace uh, free enterprise, the uh, system that we're in. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of us, you know, we find false security in, in having a job when just as quick as they'll pay you a, a check in two weeks, they can fire you. Absolutely. Just that fast. So I would I just rather. Saw on, on this uh, news the other day, I think Atlanta in, it, in and of itself is firing uh, uh, thousands of people right, this yes. month. Mm-hmm. Welcome and Happy New Year. Right, exactly. You know, <laughs> yeah. and Coke is it the same thing. You yeah. know, it's like, yeah. you know, the one thing that I've, I'm always telling people is that when you're self employed, you're not going to fire yourself. Yeah. You know, I don't wake up in the morning going, well, I'm going to give myself a pink yeah. slip. It's yeah. not going to happen. Right. You know, so um, it's, it's rough in the beginning, but if you stick to it, that four to five, you know, that, 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 that three to five year success, you know, um, you know, they always say that 80 percent of small businesses failed in the first five years. What they don't tell you is that 80 percent of those people gave up in the first five years. Wow. Now that's a stat. Yes. That's a stat. Thank you for saying that. So, yeah. Well, congratulations on having your freedom since 2001. Yes. And I look forward to seeing you in the freedom trip. Sure. All right. All right. Thank you. All right, sir. Hi, Clark. How are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Sky. Sky? Mm -hmm. Like the sky? Yeah, Sky. S K Y Y. Love it. Mm -hmm. Don Jacobs, what's going on, man? Good to see you. We're going to have you in the chair in a minute, if that's okay. Absolutely. Okay. All right, we are here at the Westwood College. It's uh, Business 101 by Rich Boy, uh, Survival Radio Network, the network you can't live without. We are here with Sky. Yes, hello. Thank you. Thank Sky, you. tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. All right, I'm Sky Wonders. I'm the founder of 40 Plus Wonders, which is a um, business where we celebrate women 40 plus uh, years old and older. So I know you started the business. I started but it. But you're not in the 40 Plus Club, so how did you start? Oh, I wish. <laughs> I am 44 years old, actually. Congratulations. I'll be 45 yes. in August. So that's, yes. that's my, my mom said that's when you're really a diva. Yes. Okay. All right. Life has just begun. There you go. So, um, actually, we celebrate um, the inner and outer beauty of women 40 plus and older, and we do it through business um, um, and social outings. Uh, we do events. Um, networking events we do um i do photography so i do uh, photo shoots makeovers um photo shoot parties we do um uh, birthday celebrations um also we do um help some of the charity organizations such as um domestic balance i work with hope um the Hope House um, for domestic violence, and um, they've been great to me. I've been helping them as well because I'm a victim of domestic violence, so that's very important to me. I also have a, a program, Save a Son. Um, so, any of the members that um, get the membership with 40 Plus Wonders, they can benefit from Save a Son if they as have well. a son. Yes. Okay. So we have a, a, a great package, a membership package for forty dollars for 2015. Just forty dollars. Just forty dollars. That's our special. Okay. If you get your membership for forty dollars this year, two thousand fifteen, you will be locked in forty wow. forty dollars every year. What do you think? There's a this misnomer that, especially with women, because it's not so with men. Right. That after you're forty, if you haven't found your place in life, tough luck. It's nothing else to do. Good luck, you know. But I mean, because you obviously know that's not true, and that's I think true. that's part of what your organization trying to does. do. Right. Yes. You want to yes, we have a purpose, um, and life is not over. Sometimes we get, um, you know, women, we we give our all to our families, sure. to our children. Um, we lose ourselves in that, you know, and then once our kids are gone. Which is sometimes, most of the time in your 40s, yes, right? Yes, and sometimes divorce. Right. You know, um, it's like, okay, what do I do what now? Do now? I done lost... My life before that, Our identity and everything. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So this is the this is what forty plus wonders is is to uplift us, uh, our self esteem, um, bring like mind um, women together. Um, they're looking to start their own business. Like I, you know, I'm a I'm an entrepreneur. I've, I've had a business before. 
it didn't work, so right. I'm restarting Maybe again. That's being an entrepreneur. Yes, right. exactly. Right. So I want to let women know that it's possible. You can do it. It's not too late. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's all about uplifting us and um, showing that 40 plus is wonderful. Well, Brian has given some great nuggets this morning. We're yes. going to have more uh, this, later this uh, afternoon. But tell me this. What's one takeaway that you got so far that you really resonates with your journey? Um, not being fearful. Mm. Um, a lot of people are feel fearful of the unknown. Probably the number one thing that keeps yes. people from jumping off. That. Exactly. Yeah. And I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. And I want to show others, don't be fearful. Amen. You know, tell everybody where they can find you. Um, 40 plus wonders.com. That's my website. Um, Go out to my website. I have a wonderful website. The membership page is on there for you to sign up. Would love to see you. My lunch party is coming January 31st. Nice. You need to have us there. Yes, I will. Oh, Most definitely. Okay. Um, uh, from 3 to 6. Um, please get on my Facebook page, um, 40 Plus Wonders. Instagram, 40 Plus Wonders. Tweet, uh, Twitter, 40 Plus Wonders as well. Consistent. Thank yes. you, Scott, very okay. much Thank for being you, on the Clark. show. Thank you, Clark. Nice to meet pleasure. you, and thanks Absolutely. for having me. Thank All you. Right. Okay, bye-bye. Absolutely. We're keeping it rocking and roll here on Survival Radio Network Live Remote. You know we love to talk, and we've got another gentleman here, uh, Sterling, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I like this. This is innovative. innovative. Is that your company, or is that a theme? It's a theme. Okay. Um, I'm the owner of Scent Media Marketing. It's an online marketing agency here in Atlanta. We specialize in web development, mobile apps, and online marketing. Nice. I hear mobile apps are, are coming even more popular than they were, say, five years ago. I mean, just in sense of a little more affordable. Yeah. And now people are starting to get what, how you can use them in, in all right, businesses, right? Right. Right. And the good thing about it for businesses is that they can stay connected with their customers. Mm, number one thing you yeah, want to do. Yeah. You're always in their pockets, right? Yeah, and right. So that's where you right. want to be. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And with uh, push notifications, you know, you can push out different sales uh, to, to your customers. I'm sure you've been in, like, um, walking around in the mall and you may get a notification on your phone that sure. says, hey, it's a sale at uh, American Eagle. Right. 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 So we can do similar things for business. But with your business, your small business. Yes, now, sir. Do you Cater to small businesses, I mean, mostly, or yeah. um, who's, your, who's your market? Please? My market is small businesses and nonprofits. Okay. We do have some enterprise solutions, but uh, the heart and soul of Sit Media Marketing is small business and getting uh, small business owners up and running. Sterling, tell everybody why you're out today. Okay. I'm out today because um, Brian is a great entrepreneur. I'm learning a lot sure. from uh, just just he's circling and, and, and just gleaning from what he has to say to them. Um, and I'm out, um, you know, to support um, uh, Brian and just network. I think it's some great people. As an entrepreneur, what's the number one thing that you believe causes people to be trapped into their current situation and, and not able to own their own business or be an entrepreneur? What well, for you? Yeah, for me, it's it's the um, I have to do everything myself mm -hmm. mentality that um, you know kind of will. You know, bind and you up, and then wrote, wrote that book. yeah, <laughs> and not not opening yourself up to abundance sure. of resources that's all always around you. Real quick, let everybody know where they can find you. Sir. Okay, scentmediamarketing.com. You can go to facebook.com slash scentmediamarketing, Twitter and Instagram at scentmedia. Well, we appreciate you, man. Thanks so much. I'll let you get back. Thank you. Survival Radio Network. We're wrapping it up. We'll be back after this break. We'll see you next time. This is Clark Garrison. Peace. Oh.